Hey guys, Will here. Just uh, doing a video on uh, my build station here. I've had a lot of interest in it uh, since I've been building it. And I originally wasn't sure what I was going to do with this video, but uh, I have been making uh, some video uh, notes on when I was doing the build as far as uh, how I was doing certain things and how it was coming together. So I'm going to put that video out. Uh, so I'm just doing this introduction. Um, to uh, let you know that uh, a lot of people have had interest in how to build one of these. Hopefully this video helps you figure out some of what I did to uh, to build this. And uh, I also have photos that I did of the build process that uh, has some of the measurements for the stuff uh, for the certain parts that I've used. So uh, hopefully that'll help. And uh, she's just about done. Um, you can see the light <laughs> this way. Uh, the light here is just uh, sitting on top of a puck light right now, but uh, eventually I'll get the light installed underneath uh, the deck here and it'll it'll show up through it and uh, it'll be blinking. So I still got to do that. I still got to do uh, my warp status indicator lights up here. And uh, the side panels, as I've said through the video, I still have not decided how I want to do those or what I want to do with them. Uh, my thought was just to do some type of uh, step shelving maybe for uh, my uh, modeling supplies or um, another thought I had was just put uh, some uh, panels on here kind of like they had on the show and then make it to where those panels open up and then my supplies are underneath. I don't know yet. Um, I'm still debating that how I want to do that. I don't want to get too involved and I really want to get back into uh, building my models. So uh, uh hope you enjoy the video. Uh, at the end of this if uh, you, you find information helpful please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, hit me up on Messenger or uh, shoot me uh, a message on the bottom of this video or on the Facebook page. But uh, until then, hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, all right, so I've got uh, started on my base here and I've got uh, my two sections for my lower and my upper part of my base. And uh, lay it all out, I've got all the measurements and I'll post all these measurements, uh, pictures of these measurements online later. Um, if anybody's interested in making this later, depending on... <laughs> How well this turns out or how bad it turns out we'll see but uh anyway the measurements are up um, i was just checking to make sure this thing is squared and if you measure it and you build it the way i did you should get 64 and a half inches squared so i already measured it across this way and measuring across this way 64 and a half inches so it's all squared up i'm ready to start attaching it and uh, once I get this thing put together, we'll take another look at it. All right, guys, let me get you caught up on what I've done here. Is, uh, so I made two pieces of the uh, frame that I showed before, and I pretty much sandwiched them together. Um, I wanted my deck height to be about half what the original looked like. The original looked like it was about 12 inches, so I made this six. So uh, I think these are one and a half, that's three, and then I've got a three inch block in between so we've got a six inch deck height around uh, then what i did was i made a plate here and i've already screwed this in place but i've cut a hole a bit just big enough for this four by four to fit in and uh it drops down and this plate down here just supports it and uh, i've got these four by four uh, two by fours in place so that this won't this is all leveled out as you can see here we've got this straight well it was straight for the most part so yeah, it's pretty close you're not going to notice a difference because uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, I got some uh, two by fours I've cut here which are going to go long ways across here like this um, and I'm going to attach these so I'm going to have one here and then one on the other side and then I'll have spacers in here uh, to help support it but this is going to slide up so I can get the correct height I need uh, for it to just sit perfectly where I wanted it uh, with my chair so I'm going to slide this up and then I'll screw it in place and I'll check it out and make sure it's where I wanted that and then uh, these two boards here are going to go across like this and they're going to stick out to help support the desk that I'm going to, uh, the work area that I'm going to put there. So, uh, it might be hard to, uh, 
see it now, but uh, pretty much the two, four by four and the two by four is going to carry all the weight um, for the top part. So I'm going to work on that and uh, we'll come back and take a look at it. All right. So what I've done now is I've built this cross beam here, which is going to support most of the weight of the uh, upper part of the console. And uh, I've just uh, temporarily tacked some boards on so I could simulate the work desk height or what my work desk at. And I've sat down and made sure that I felt comfortable sitting at that level. And uh, basically this, uh, this whole assembly here would slide up and down the pole. And then I would just drop it down until I felt it was where I wanted it to. And I've tacked it in place with these three screws, but I'm going to take those out because uh, I realized <laughs> I've still got to cut all this post off yet. So I've marked where to cut this post off. So uh, that's going to be my next step, cut that off, and then reattach this at the uh, proper level and start building my frame from the nav console. We'll be back to take a look at it. All right, so we got that post cut down, and you see it's starting to take shape now. It's mounted up. It is level. So now as I've uh, got left to do, I'm ready to start working on building that frame. I've got a couple of... Uh, support pieces to put in here, but then I'll start building the frame around the uh, main support pieces here to uh, get that desk looking, hopefully resembling, starting to resemble what the plan is here. Um, what I really got to work out is this shape on the side here. So if I can get that worked out, um, I think it'll pretty much fall into place and then getting this shape worked out in the front here. So I'm going to uh, pick up some more wood and start working on this and uh, see what I can come up with. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I got my framing in place for, it's just tacked in place right now. It's not, uh, I haven't finished securing it yet. See, I've got uh, off a little bit right here. I got to work on that. But uh, for the most part, I think it's coming together. Uh, I'm going to have to move, uh, these are going to have to be closer together, which means that my top here is going to have to be narrower because this is going to be my workspace, and I want this to be uh, at least 30 inches wide, and right now it's about uh, 27 and a half, so I want to get a little more space in there, and uh, this is going to be uh, 20 inches deep, so I'm going to have a 30 by 20 work area. So my work area is more important to me than this area over here because this is pretty much just going to be uh, where I'm going to have paint, uh, my equipment such as my soldering iron, glue, all that stuff I need is going to be to uh, build models is going to be on, uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to do it, if I'm going to make little step down shelves or what, but these two areas here, that's what they're going to be for. There's not going to be any electronics. Uh, the only electronics on this I'm planning to incorporate is uh, in the front here. Um, I got another support to put across here, but I'm not going to do that yet because, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot these closer together, so this has got to be longer. But uh, I'm going to have my alert status light and then uh, the warp indicators I'm going to do chaser lights for. And uh, that's really the only electronics I'm going to have on, on this uh, as far as uh, trying to somewhat make this uh, look like the NAV helm console. Uh, but like I said, the main function for this is so I have a... Uh, build bench to continue working on models but uh, it's coming together pretty nice a bit more work to do and uh, if you're interested these side panels and I've had to cross these out a couple times and uh, I'll post pictures of these later too but uh, these are my measurements and uh, my cuts I've made the degree marks on as far as what the uh, angles are and uh, like I said, I've had to, you, know, you can see where I've had to scratch these out a couple times and rework them because uh, they weren't quite right. So, anyway, like I said, it's coming together. And uh, I'll give another update as soon as I get some more of this uh, worked out. All right, guys, so here's where we're at now. I've uh, put some more bracing in here. And as you can see, I've uh, measured this out at 10 inches. So, this is uh, 10 inches in between on the inside. And then uh, I've done that on both sides. And some of these braces <laughs> are a little crooked, but I wasn't too worried about it because you're not going to see them anyway. Um, some of them I had to put different because uh, not having the foresight, not having done this before, uh, 
some of the ways I did my screws, I wish I had done them all the same direction instead of alternating them because that made me have to change up the placement on some of my, uh, my bracing in here. So, but, uh, it's come together pretty well. Um, seems pretty solid so far. Uh, so what I ended up with was a, uh, 31 inch. This is going to be a 31 inch. This is not the size of the work area. This is just temporary, but this will be a 31 inch wide work area. Uh, and it'll be 20 inches deep. So, uh, it's coming together pretty well. I've actually started putting on some of the siding and painting and uh, I've had to fill in some spots where I've, uh, put my screws at so they don't show up, but, uh, it's coming together pretty well. And, uh, I'll be posting the colors I used as far as the paints, um, on my Facebook page in case anybody's interested in doing something like this. Um, and you agree with my colors, which I stood in lows for about an hour trying to pick out the right colors that, or what, what looked right according to pictures. But of course, uh, you know, looking at old pictures, uh, probably not the best way to pick out the colors, but, uh, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I think that color was kind of a reddish orange or maybe an orangish red, uh, depending on how you want to look at it. So I picked out something that I thought looked pretty close to it. Like I said, I'll post, uh, what types of paints I use for this uh, later on. So, uh, what I'm working on now is just, uh, getting my edge trimming in. That might not be the right place, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And this will be painted black. And, uh, it may not be screen accurate, but like I said, I'm not too worried about being screen accurate with this. I just wanted to, uh, have something that resembled the Helm nav console from the, uh, original series. And, uh, it's going to make a nice build bench when I'm done with it. So we'll, uh, finish getting all this together and uh, get this sanded and uh, get the edging put on and we'll come back and see where we're at. All right guys, so uh, obviously I've gotten quite a bit done since the last update. I've uh, started doing some painting. I've uh, put a coat of my black on, coat of the gray, and I've actually got two coats of this red on. Um, the uh, colors I'm using is uh, black is a uh, dark kettle black from Valspar. That's the black I'm using. And uh, the red is Oso oh Red, also Valspar. And uh, the gray I haven't really <clears throat> decided. Uh, I think I'm going to go a little darker with this gray. I think it's a little too light. Uh, what I've got right now is a Sherwin Williams uh, Morning Fog. But uh, I think I'm going to go a little darker with that. So I'm going to have to go back to the paint store, back to Lowe's, and take a look and see what I. I like, but I've got the, uh, the V worked out here. Not as much of a forward slant as I was hoping for, but, uh, like I said, I'm not trying to be necessarily screen accurate. I just wanted, uh, to get this thing looking, uh, recognizable at least as a Helm nav console. And, uh, so I think it's looking pretty good. Still got some more paint in to do. Got some more sanding. Um, this is all wood filler from where I filled in where my screws are and uh, trying to round out these corners some. So got a lot of work to do on that. Um, got some more work to do on this trim here. I actually picked up some more of that today so I can try to finish that off. Started to put my panels. I still haven't figured out how I'm going to do these yet, but right now I've just got the flat panel in place. Um, I'll get that worked out. But... Good thing is my, uh, lens came in for my, um, alert status light, but it's obviously not the right color. Um, the, uh, the one in the series was actually a little more transparent. So, uh, and it's a little, a little more of a point at the top here than, uh, in the series than what this is, but you know, it's close enough for me. Like I said, I'm not trying to necessarily get this thing all, uh, screen accurate, but what I'm going to do to fix this problem as far as this being too opaque is uh, I've got my uh, clear casting kit from Alumalite. And uh, they actually sell some of this stuff in uh, um, the hobby shops. Uh, so you can pick this up in some of the hobby shops or you can go to Alumalite.com and, and order it. But it's uh, this is a clear cast kit. So I'm going to try casting this. Um, typically what you can do with this is once you get your mold made, of this. You can spray the inside with, uh, I'm going to try spraying it with some frosted uh, paint 
and uh, then I'll cast it and typically that causes that paint to adhere to your your casting and uh, I'm hoping it'll come out looking a little closer to what what I want it to so I'm gonna try that out um, as you can see I've got a lot of this framed out um, just doing my paneling now to get that in place I've got some more supports to add in the middle for this one and uh, and I've got my piece of wood I'm gonna cut for my my work area right there I'm gonna get that in place um, and I still got to work out my chaser lights that I want to do up here. Not sure I'm going to do that yet, but I'll get that worked out. But uh, it's coming together. As you see, I got this side done pretty much. Uh, still got some more sanding to do on some of the edges to uh, get a little more rounded off. But uh, it's looking pretty good. So do some more work here. We'll come back and uh, see where we're at. All right, so here's where we're at. I've uh, gotten a lot of the paneling done. I've gotten... All my trim work pretty much done. Um, so you can see it's coming together. Got the uh, triangle all done and painted on the front. And uh, uh, the only thing I've really got left to do structure wise is I've got to finish framing this side over here for the uh, support column. So I'll be working on that. Get that done. Um, and I did recast my uh, status light, my alert status light to something a little closer to what it should look like. This is the uh, one that came in the mail. So you can see I cast it and then actually what I ended up doing was uh, taking my table saw and cutting it down some because it was way, way bigger than I wanted it to be, um, especially since I scaled this whole thing down. Um, I may have to do a little more work on it because it's not perfect by any means, but... It's good for what I want. Um, I just got to work out now doing the uh, warp status indicator lights on both sides of this. I'm hoping to do a uh, chaser circuit for that, but I've got to work that out yet still too. And uh, my work table, I decided to paint red, um, even though I've got my mat in place right now to help protect it. But uh, this is all going to be black, so I wanted something to contrast it. I didn't want all this to be uh, black back here. So I ran out of paint, so I got to get some more black paint in. And uh, I still got to do panels for these. So this is actually pretty easy to put together once uh, once you get all the paneling or um, framing done on it. You can see all the framing down here. But uh, once you get it framed out, cutting the panels for it's pretty easy. And uh, getting the trim, I don't think I have another piece laying around right now, but uh, basically it's just door molding is what I used here. And uh, at the uh, joints, I'm not very good at uh, cutting angles, but I got as close as I could and then I just filled it in with uh, wood filler, which uh, don't use the crap from Lowe's. I like Lowe's, but the wood filler that they sell there is crap. Use either the, uh, personally I like the Elmer's wood filler. Seems to work best, but uh, Home Depot has this plasti plastic wood or something like that, and it seems to be doing okay. So, um, I do have some spots to uh, paint some more because I missed it with my tape. I overlapped too much of my tape to uh, keep from painting over it. So, But, uh, we're almost there. I got to... Um, I could paint this or I could carpet it. I think I'm going to try to find some carpet for it, even if it's some cheap little floor mats that I cut up to, to carpet it with. So I'm going to see what I'm going to do with that and get that done. And then, you know, like I said, I still got to work out how I'm going to do my uh, side panels. So these aren't in place yet. But what I'll do is I'll get these uh, secured in place. I'll use wood filler around the edges and it'll look like a one piece panel like it was in the original series. Um, but I've got to work out exactly what I want to do with each side. I'm thinking maybe step shelving on at least this side to put my, put my tools and stuff. And then this side, I'm not sure if I'm going to do step shelving or uh, little spots to put my paint, but I'll figure something out and get it worked out and we'll take a look at it when, when we get to that point, but uh smoothie build sitting on the desk, ready to go as soon as uh, we get this whole thing all sorted out. So 
we'll come back and uh, hopefully we'll be about done with it. And we'll take a, hopefully what is the final look at it. Well, I'm getting close to being done here. Um, finally got my panels all cut out. I still got to cover this one and cut a panel for down here. And I still got to screw this one in. And I think this one, I still got to put some screws in, but it's, uh, getting pretty close to done. Uh, just working on sanding and blending in my, my top here since I did, uh, didn't cut this one piece. What I'm having to do is taking wood filler. And, uh, as you can see here, I'm filling in the seams and then I'm coming back and sanding it. And, uh, depending on how it looks after that, I'll come back, put some more wood filler in. You know, it's, it's, uh, kind of like a, a big model, you know, as far as blending in these seams. So I'll, uh, get all the seam work done on this and then get a coat of paint on it. And, uh, then we'll come back and take a look at it. And, uh, we'll probably, uh, I'll probably go ahead and call this video segment done. Um, as soon as I get my desktop put back on. There's some other things I'm going to do to this. I still have not, uh, decided what I'm going to do with these panels on the side. Uh, for a minute there, I kind of, uh, decided or thought I might just make this to where it just opens up and all my tools would be inside. And then this would be, uh, the controls like you would have seen on, um, the original series on this, but it, because this is, because I've downsized this, um, uh, I've decided not to do that. I just don't think I'll be able to get the proportions to make it look right. So, um, I think I'm still going to do, uh, just some shelving or something over here to put that in, but I haven't decided I'll do that. I've, I'm thinking about maybe putting some, uh, access panels on here and just having, um, uh, panels that I lift off to, to get to my supplies and maybe still do some decorations similar to uh, what you would have seen in the original series. But again, I'm just, uh, not sure how I want to do that yet. I'm still working that out. But, uh, as far as the construction of the actual, uh, desk, the workbench, it's pretty much done. I just got to put my, uh, finish blending this in, paint it, put my, uh, desktop back on, which is right now. It's just sitting over here. So, and then, uh, like I said, I've got to put this panel, that panel, and I've still got to find some carpet that I can do just to do these little, these two little areas here. Um, but I, I want to get this video put up. Um, it's, it's going to be a little bit before I get my electronics worked out. I'm still, uh, working on, I'm going to light this, but, uh, just to do a little demonstration of how this is going to work. That's how it's going to light up, but that's, of course, I'm not going to have the puck light here. I'm going to have some other light in, underneath the panel here that's going to light it. But uh, that'll give you an idea at least of how that's going to look once it's in place and I've got the lighting set up. Um, and then I'm still going to do my warp status lights on both sides. But uh, that's going to take me a little bit to do. I'm probably going to have to order some parts for that. And I've had a lot of people asking questions about the assembly of this and blueprints and things. So um, I want to get this video put up. So if somebody does want to um, try and make one of their own, at least they've got the video. I'm going to try to do some blueprints on it, but I'm not, uh, like I said before, I'm not a carpenter. I'm not uh, an engineer. <laughs> I'm not someone that's done blueprints before, but uh, I'll see what I can get together. So, uh, you know, if somebody wants to do something like this, they can. But uh, for now, like I said, I'm going to finish up a couple things. We'll come back, take a look at it. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. So as you can see, gotten most of the uh, painting done. I still need to put another coat on it, but uh got some cleaning up I got to do on some of these seams and uh, <clears throat> where I cover up my screws at. And so I'm going to uh, use some more uh, wood filler on that and uh, sand it down, get those cleaned up, put another coat of paint on it. And as soon as it looks like uh, I want it to look, I got another one there to fix. Then uh, we'll put a final coat of black on there and we'll call it done. But uh, it's pretty much uh, the build for the most part is done on it. Like I said, I've just got a couple more panels to uh, finish out in the backside here. Uh, i got to get my carpet put on down here on the base. And... Uh, Still got to get my lights put in up here. I've got this puck light under here temporarily just so uh, that shows how that'll light up after uh, 
after I get the uh, lighting installed underneath of here, that'll shine up through the light. And uh, so that's how I'm going to do that. And uh, like I said, I still got to decide how I'm going to do my panels. I'm going to do a couple more updates uh, as I uh, do some more work to this. But for the most part, uh, I really want to get back into uh, my builds uh, as far as my models. I've got uh, got my smoothie build over here that's waiting to be pulled out the box and <clears throat> start working on it. And I just came across this today. My uh, black box Star Trek uh, Enterprise model. And uh, it was in a plastic tote that uh, had been packed away for 25 years or so. Um, I probably got this, well, maybe 20 years, but I've had it probably since the mid-90s. So uh, that'll uh, be something down the road, another, another build to work on. But uh, yeah, so for the most part, it uh, turned out pretty well. Um, I'm happy with it. As soon as I get done all the, uh, the, the couple of final things, i got to finish up on it. She'll be good to go. So uh, I've, I hope you all have enjoyed the build. I hope it's been uh, informational. Um, like I said, I didn't really uh, plan out too much on making this to where uh, other people could build it, but uh, I've had quite a few inquiries on it. So if uh, you have any questions on it, uh, please feel free to contact me on my Facebook page or uh, through Messenger. Um, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, just uh, do a search for at Ensign's Chair, and uh, it should come up. But uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up on uh, the YouTube page here. And if you haven't subscribed already and you like what you see here and you want to see more, just hit that subscribe button. You'll get the updates on it. Um, I will post the uh, photos I took while this was being built, which does have some of the measurements on it for the, uh, for the parts uh, that I used to build it. So like I said, uh, if you're interested in building one and you, you have any questions on it, Please feel free to uh, hit me up with a message, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But until then, I will see you when we start back on that build. So until then, keep on modeling.